Hey everyone, Techni here with a keyboard review, and yes, the keyboard we have today is the ever so popular Ducky One Two Mini. Now, before we go any further, I kind of want to talk about this, kind of like I did about the Model O. Like, I really think there's a lot of hype around us, right? Fortnite is obviously the most popular game out there right now, and obviously we all know Tifu, and this is what he used. So, sure, 60% keyboards have been around for a long time, uh, this, that, and the other. But let's all be honest with each other here. There is so much hype around this because Tifu and Fortnite, right? Like, they should honestly make his own uh, keyboard. It makes so much money, you know? Now, catch me right there. That's not me saying, hey, this is bad if there's just so much Fortnite hype around it, right? I mean, obviously, the guy's a fantastic player, right? A pro player, whatever, you know? So, his PC accessories, uh, they got to be pretty stinking good, you know? But honestly, me not being a Fortnite player, I was just kind of worried. I'm like, man, is this really just all Fortnite hype here? Am I going to spend 100 bucks on something that's just good for Fortnite? Hey, let me pop it open and show it to you and then we'll talk about it a little bit. So how about them close-ups right there? I mean, this thing is absolutely sharp. I mean, I just love the white down there, and then it goes into the black. I mean, put it on a solid RGB. Me, personally, I like red, you know? So it's going white, black to red. It just looks absolutely sharp. But anyways, inside your box, what you're going to get is a manual here. And let me tell you what, this is quite a chunky manual, and you're going to want to hold on to this, because there are some shortcuts in this thing that you really need uh, this manual for, unless, of course, down the road you memorize it. But it is an absolute massive amount in there. You can get a keycap puller. I honestly don't like this keycap puller. I like the kind of traditional ones, just the plastic ones, right? Because honestly, when you try to pull out the uh, space bar, for example, with this guy, you kind of get it, you got to cock it down to the side and just pull it up one side at a time. When the other ones, you can kind of pop it out from the middle right where the switch is. Uh, but anyways, you do get that right there. You're going to get your USB right here, a little uh, Velcro on it, nice length to it too, and it's pretty heavy duty, so it feels pretty nice and durable. You'll get an extra space bar right here. Now, the, the keycaps that come on the keyboard, j jumping ahead a little bit here, are double shot PBT, but this space bar right here is not, I don't know if you can see it through the plastic, but again, it's just painted on right there. Now, also in your box, you can get some extra keycaps. As you can see right here, you got some of the arrows, some enter buttons, if we get some focus. There we go, you got the little ducky uh, symbol and everything, then your arrows, enter and whatnot, you know? And this is one thing I really don't like about this, actually, is your box is gonna have a random color, so you may get blue, red or like I got pink like I wish they would just make it a solid one like give us all white you know I, I think that would go good because like like pink keycaps like I am never I am never going to use those like I'm not going to put a pink keycap on my keyboard and that's just my opinion and I don't like that because I'm sure that's uh, within the uh, markup of the keyboard give us all solid white and I think that was fantastic not just some random keys in it because again I'll never use those. All right, so now let's get into the keyboard. And number one, what we're gonna start with here is build. Now this keyboard does use Cherry MX switches. You can get in your browns, your blues, your blacks. I have the reds right here. Let me go and give you a quick sound test right now. You guys are about two and a half, three feet from the mic right here. I'm just gonna hit a couple keys as I'm talking, right? Like, like dude, shush your gear, you know what I mean? God, it sounds so good on this keyboard. You know, I had some people before in some of my other reviews say, man, can you actually just like type something up? Dude, let me tell you what I'm a horrible typer. Like if I'm typing up like this, uh, I type a little bit better than that, but it wouldn't be, you know, you see some of these people. So anyway, that's why I just smash some keys. But anyways, here we go, here we go. I mean, it just sounds so nice. They feel perfect. It is. I mean, it is just such a gorgeous sound, and it's just, it's smooth, yet solid. It's honestly a perfect feel. Now, talking further about build, I want to show you down underneath the keycaps here. I'm going to pop off the space bar as well while we're doing this. You, I don't know if you guys caught that, how I'm using this little keycap puller right there, and it pulls out one side, and you got to come over here and pull out that side. I just, I just don't like this little keycap puller right here. Anyways, let me show you this real quick. You have them really nice stabilizers right down there, as you can see. So you have your switch, 
stabilizer, stabilizer. And honestly, this space bar on there, it has no wobble whatsoever. No matter where you hit it, if it's on the far edge or right in the middle where the switch is, it feels the exact same across the board and it is very, very nice. Now, some of you have been with me for a while. You know we've reviewed a few other 60% boards or some other 10 keyless boards, right? And they've had the uh, metal base right underneath there. Uh, by the way, if you haven't been with it for a while, you can go check those out. We got the, what do we review? Like the Moto Speed, uh, the Diarrhea keyboard, and then some other, you know, really awesome 10 keyless boards. But uh, again, not saying this about them, but just saying we've reviewed a lot of keyboards. So, uh, hey, you should check them out. But anyways, my point here is that some of them have had that metal uh, base right underneath the keys right there. And we've got that real tinny, uh, tingy sound, like it sound like a bell and we just radiate through the entire board. Like I don't even have the space bar on right here and I don't hear it at all. Like not a single bit, which is very nice. I don't know how they did that. I can tell you in some of the other boards we have used it before, it's just been a straight piece of metal or it's been like some glossy paint. Inside here there is matte paint. Uh, does that make a difference as far as the sound radiating? I don't know. What I think it is is that it's so low profile right here. So you got your uh, base right down there, and then you have your metal right there. I don't know. You still got the distance between the switch. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that in there. Probably not good at all. But again, you don't get that tinny tingy sound at all. You know what I honestly think might be helping it out a little bit, kind of concealing that sound in there? So take another close look here. Right, let me flip it around here. So you got the white right there. I'm not sure how well you guys can pick this up. You see how that little lip is right there, right? So you have your switch, your stabilizers, and then that lip. So let's look at this here. So take a look at that key. And I press it down and it goes down inside that lip. Rather than most of the keyboards, it would be straight out. So maybe it was able to radiate out through that since it's just straight flat. When this one actually goes down into that little lip right there. And I think it just kind of, you know, conceals that sound in there. But again, really nice touch that you don't get that sound at all. Now, as I stated in the beginning, your keycaps are double shot PBT. As you can see right here, let me bring it in, get some focus. There we go. Flip it around. There you go, so you can see it right in there. Really nice, so your font's not gonna fade or rub out, rub off on you right there, you know? Really nice touch to have that on this board right there. All right, now let's talk about using a keyboard, and this is kind of my personal opinion where I couldn't use this every day. Yes, for gaming, I love it, but for everyday use, it is an absolute confusing mess, in my opinion, right? Let me show you guys here real quick. So as you can see, all those shortcuts right underneath every uh, keycap right there, right on the little bottom lip right there, as you can see across the entire board. And all those aren't just straight function hit it, right? Some of them are uh, function alt and then hit it, you know? So some of them are function and function alt to hit it, which is, I don't know, just in my opinion, like I just get confused. I like having a little bit kind of poke out right here where I got my arrows and maybe my uh, quick volume, you know, stuff like that. Just my personal opinion. It takes a little while to get used to, honestly. Now, speaking of that RGB, there is an absolute massive amount in here. But again, it's just a pain to use because it's like function all then, uh, what is it, T or something like that, right? And you got to cycle through all them. You can even go function alt over here. And as you see those keys lighting up right down there, you got green, red, and then your blue. You can cycle through all those and get a really custom color if you want to like lower the green level and higher the blue or vice versa bring some more red in there so you can get whatever color you want it's almost like you got a custom color uh picker right there you can get kind of confused you got to go up on the blue down on the green up on the red to get your pink or whatever it may be you know what i mean uh, but again it's pretty cool that you can get that exact color you want but the one thing i like which was in some of the other keyboards we tested as well so function alt and then space bar so you have your entire color palette choosing up right there so if we want to do red and again it's really cool because you can do it as far as brightness if you want just a little dim red bam press right down there and be nice and dim again function alt space bar if we want that really bright red bam hit it up there and it's really bright i really really like that because again you can just function alt get your entire color palette bam and pick whatever color you want and then you can cycle through all the effects as well which is function alt t and all that stuff which i won't waste your time going through but there is plenty of them in there and whenever you have your solid color picked you can choose it to cycle on that as well but again talk about all those features that are packed into it in the rgb as well like just there's so much packed into this little guy that i'd honestly have to see it for probably like 45 minutes to an hour just talking to you guys about it all like when they have this massive manual it's honestly uh, shortcuts and little things to do with the keyboard not like you know the same thing or cycle this through each rgb there's actual shortcuts and like i said your profiles and everything you do with this board so there's so much packed into it and how you can kind of get that like when i was looking through the manual and you get to the back and they got a little section where you can write your own notes that's when you know you're in trouble when you got to take notes for a keyboard i'm on the back of the board right here you have these couple switches i'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up but there's a couple 
couple switches right there. And what those little guys do is you can adjust where the function button is up here. I don't know why you would do that. They call them dip switches, but again, you can adjust the function if it be over here or wherever right there. Again, I don't know what the purpose of that is, but hey, you can do it. Now, one other thing talking about build and durability, as far as like, you don't get any flex, like whenever you're playing and everything, no flex whatsoever. It's right there. Again, you have that steel base right underneath there. But as far as the plastic that came up right here, and then on the backside, I don't think the camera will pick this up. But if you guys can see, I can pull out the plastic fairly easy. Same on the backside right there. But again, I mean, come on, we're not gonna be doing that when we're gaming, right? But again, just as far as durability, if you drop this guy, like just go like that, I can squish it in. Um, if you drop it, will it break? I, I don't know, I'm never gonna drop it, you know what I mean? But obviously you like this compact size, you can throw it in your bag and get on the go, you know what I mean? So I don't know, that might worry me a little bit. But again, as far as just basic plane, no flex whatsoever. Now two other things, talk about the underside right here. You do have these feet, which are real cool. As you can see, you pop them out right there, there, and you have the uh, tallest and then just this one right here which is gonna be like a medium height or bam you can go straight flat which me personally I prefer it being flat but it's really nice to have those other options right there two different options to adjust as you can see right there which is just really nice all right one other thing talking about that durability and I promise I'll be done talking about it right as far as the bottom right here I know you guys can't see because they got the lights on and everything but anyways you can see the RGB coming through the backside and up here and everything is that because it's white or is that because that plastic is a little bit cheaper me personally I think it's just because it's a little bit cheaper and it's not very thick it's not junk by any means but again it's not the thickest I've ever felt on a Board. Now talk about that USB that comes in it right here. Obviously, as we saw before, it is detachable. And when you get it in there, it's in there honestly pretty good. Like you gotta tug on it pretty good to get it out there, but it is quite a bit of give. Like you can see right there, like it's jiggling pretty nice, right? But again, you still gotta tug on it quite. So anyways, let me give you my opinion on the Ducky One Too Many. They, again, this is coming from a non-Fortnite player or anything like that, you know what I mean? And is it worth that hundred bucks? Because again, we have reviewed other 60% keyboards that are half of the price, you know, and is this worth it? We'll actually do some comparisons of the Ducky with the other one. So stay tuned, hit the bell for that one, right? But um, is this board straight up worth a hundred bucks? And I honestly got to say yes. Like, it totally is, but I think, again, this keyboard compared to the other ones, you know, just short breaking it up right there, is I think this is kind of like that keyboard you go out and look for. It's not like, oh, hey, let me try it. You know what I mean? Like, again, 100 bucks is a lot of money for a keyboard, again, of this size, and I wouldn't recommend this for everyday use. Not at all, you know, in my personal opinion. I'd say go with a 10 keyless if you want to go with that compact size, you know what I mean? But again, I think this is... Uh, someone that wants to free up that space and kind of get in that real, real tight, be able to move it around and get your get your good play on, you know. But again, I think this is that keyboard you go out and look for, right? You don't go, uh, you're not going off to get that three dollar milkshake. You're going to that fancy place to get that, you know, ten dollar milkshake. If you catch my drift, that's where I put this board. But again, that ten dollar milkshake is delicious, right? And that's how I put this right here, you know. No, I don't think you should run out and get it right now. It's not that good by any means. But yes, I do feel like if you're going to utilize everything on it, you're getting your bucks worth but anyways like I said I'm happy with it do you use the ducky one too many and what do you think about it do you think it's worth a hundred bucks have you tested some of the other cheaper uh, 60 percent and what do you think about them you know, do you think this is worth upgrading uh, give or take say 50 bucks for this one but like I said we will have some comparisons coming up with those other boards but hey thank you so much for stopping by and watching us so I hope you enjoyed it if you did hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos and hey, we'll catch you in the next one bye now